welcome back another day here I am with my vlog uh, refueling and it's not cheap uh, almost 20 gallons and 65 dollars and counting Welcome back. There's a lot to talk about. Um, I've been gone for a while now, I apologize, but um, a lot has happened uh, since uh, we entered the 2024 year. And uh, I'll talk to you about all of that stuff in a moment, but uh, for you that are coming to my channel for the first time, I'm Isaac. I'm a flight attendant with a global airline and living out of my 24 feet Itasca Viva 23L RV. Uh, it's a Class C. Some may call it uh, Class B plus. And uh, this is my channel, so welcome. So here we are on my vlog. Um, as I said earlier, a lot has happened recently. In January, I got really, really sick with COVID that knocked me down for like almost two weeks, which I could not film, I could not release any videos, so I apologize for that. And then recently, now in February, um, on one of my flights, we've encountered what's called uh, awake turbulence, which is unpredictable cannot be warned about and it's quite violent especially when we were in the back about to land basically what it did flew the whole crew up into the ceiling and down on the floor within split second and we're very lucky that all the passengers were already in their seats buckled up for landing it was just us the crew who were still doing their final duties to prepare the cabin for landing so it caught us off guard and I hurt my lower back. I actually have a compression fracture in my spine, which is extremely painful. And I've been dealing with that injury on duty for 11 days now. And uh, between the insurance and the doctors and the specialists and the MRI and all the appointments that are not coming by fast enough to start therapy, it's causing uh, a hectic delay on my treatment and that's the reason why I could not release any videos recently so I apologize for that as well but today I had to come back and let you know what's going on wish me luck so I can uh, recover quick enough to be on the road again uh, but I'll be on the ground that means I'll have more time to uh, film and share with you my day-to-day -day routines which brings me to what happened today earlier I got to uh, IKEA and I got myself something that I really wanted to try for a long, long time. I got myself an induction stove, which I'm hoping that it will be a game changer so I don't have to use propane all the time. And this is a, a faster way of cooking and um, eventually it will result in uh, savings on propane and electricity. So that's uh, I'm excited about. So it's called the... Uh... Tilreda, I guess that's how it's pronounced, Tilreda. And uh, it's a single stove, which has a little hook here that you can hang it if you don't want it, hanging around on your countertops. And looks great. And apparently, based on the information that I found here on the manual, it's got nine power levels starting at one with 200 watts and going up all the way to nine at 1,800 watts. That's pretty cool. Um, 
considering number nine, obviously it's the most drawing uh, setting, but it's also the quickest. So I'm gonna try something today and see how much time it takes to um, boil, for instance, a pot of water in comparison to the propane stove. I also got, uh, in preparation for the spring, those uh, really cool fake <laughs> uh, planters from Ikea. Uh, what is this called? Fejka? 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 They look super real and they're super cute. And they were on sale, so um, I could not resist. So I'm just gonna add them in the background and on top of the cab. So to bring some color and the spring back into my home. So, um, but again, I really am excited about this. Look, it even has a hook to hang it, which is a kind of cool, but I'm not gonna use that obviously. I'll just put it in a drawer or whatever. But um, I wanna see how much power does it draw and how quick does it cook. Let's do that. I'm just gonna put it here on the extended leaf so I can plug it right here on the wall. Cool. Now I have to turn on the house inverter. All right, my echo flow is low on power right now, but it's fine. Perfect. And I have electricity everywhere. So as you can see now it's on i'm glad it's working and make sure that your panzer pots are actually uh, compatible with the induction pretty much if it's metal they all are and then uh, at the bottom of it most of them now actually say and indicate what kind of a types of uh, stoves they're compatible with so this one is i know that is compatible i'm just gonna put some water all right so the test i'm gonna do is a full 500 ml bottle of water and then now that the water is there i'm gonna release the child lock turn this on and put it on nine which is 1800 watts and it died <laughs> that means i have to do something else um turn this on again there we go try on and let's put slowly all right three six hundred huh it dies again i'm not sure what's going on let me double check Hmm. Let's do that again. Okay, lights are on. Maybe I should turn off the lights. Without the uh, lights or, or anything on, it's currently at 26 watts. And that is because I have few things charging. My uh, set power refrigerator is on. So maybe that's why, but this doesn't draw anything. So I think it's the house battery charging that is creating this surge. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down to my fuse box and turn off the option of house battery charging and then it should be fine. And this one, uh, you see the, this is the converter and I turned that off. And let's see if that's gonna make any difference. Okay, uh, take what, three? <laughs> All right, it went down to 14 watts. So that's a bunch of electrical items that I'm charging, like my GoPro, as I said, this is connected. I don't think this is drawing anything right now, but there are some other things in the RV that are currently hooked up and still drawing some energy. Okay, so let's try this again. <laughs> Oh my God, this is a fail, huh? Wish me luck. All right, turn off the child safe and turn this on. Let's try one. 
One is holding. Let's do two. So far, so good. I guess we have to do it slowly. And it died. Bummer. I really hoped that it would work and then I don't have to use propane for my cooking, but I'm not sure what's going on. Hmm, doesn't make any sense because I can use my air fry with this, hair dryer, all kinds of stuff that I'm using with ease. I never had this issue before, so I'm not sure what is going on. Please write in the comment below if any of you know what might be happening here. I'll read them and uh, tackle it in a different day, I guess. But until then, the new induction stove, unfortunately, is currently a fail until a campground. So obviously at the campground, I'm not going to have any power issues. But until I have a solution with the EcoFlow Delta and the current setup, I don't know how to fix that problem. But I tried. All right, let's put that fail aside. Let's work on these. These cannot fail me, right? Um, they're so adorable. Look at those. They're so real looking too. How cute. Okay, I think I have an idea where it should go. How about here? At the top. And this one, I want to put it mm -mm -mm, on top of my air fry right there maybe <laughs> what do you guys think cute no that's a success the other one was a fail but this one is okay i like that wait a second i think i know what the problem is all right some of you who watch my channel previously you would know that i actually had an extension cord that goes into the cabin from the shore power box outside what happened is that i for some reason i think i was on a campground and disconnected the echo flow actually it is connected you see this is the um, extension cord that comes in to here through that little hole right there that we had done and that's the house electric cable and this is the 15 amp converter so that's connected i thought this was maybe i forgot to connect it well no that's not the case so there's something else that's going on in there hmm. i'm not sure by the way it's so beautiful it's cold don't get me wrong but it's sunny and it's beautiful and i'm right here by the lake oh it's beautiful So I'm not sure what is the problem here. These are um, battery being cold warnings, but it's charging. I mean, I know it's very little. I mean, I hardly have any power left, but that means it's working. Like the echo flow is working, but I don't know. There's some sort of a surge that's happening and I'm trying to figure out what it is. Help, <laughs> comment below you. The guys who are gurus on electricity and uh, inverters and whatnot, let me know what I'm doing wrong. I want to fix it because I want to be able to use my induction stove while boondocking. So all comments are appreciated. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the coldness in the air, the temperature. Um, the battery, you know, because of my injury, I, I wasn't able to uh, be in my RV for a long time. But now that I'm back in the RV, the battery here... This has been sitting in the cold and we had a real cold days recently. That is why it's giving me warnings um, that the temperature is cold for the battery to fully function. I believe that what it is. 
please, please, please comment below and help my misery here. I don't know what the answer is properly. That is why also why I'm not drawing um, all the juice, the surging juice, I guess, um, from it properly because it never gave me this kind of a problem before. So I don't know. We'll see. But meanwhile, I'm hungry and I need to eat. I'm in the mood for tomato soup. And also I have these jasmine, 90 second jasmine rice that I could eat and some chicken. Yeah, I know it's not the healthiest, but I could not go shopping for a while because of my injury. So I have a little bit here that is still available for me in the RV. So I'm just gonna cook those and have some lunch. Add some water to dilute it just a little bit. I, I like it a little bit diluted, so I add the water. All right, while the soup is cooking, I'm actually reminded myself that I should be worried about my microwave for my rice. Because if I couldn't work my induction stove or the air fryer i don't know how the microwave will work all right the 90 second jasmine microwavable rice it goes into the uh microwave for 90 seconds okay no my echo flow is failing me today i'm not sure what is going on all right see lights are on Microwave is on, but for some reason, the surging is not enough. I guess I have to cook the rice in a different way. Meanwhile, my soup is ready. Let's give it a final stir. Well, after that big fail, um, I have my soup ready. Well, you see, it's not all glamour and joy in the RV life. There's always some issues that going on that could turn your day into a miserable one. So I guess uh, <laughs> my experience, this vlog has been quite transparent. You see not the glamorous side and not the, oh, everything is so perfect side today. Well, but that doesn't mean that we give up. We'll, um, we'll fight it and we'll find the, the the reason, the real reason behind the issue here, because uh, it never happened to me before. You know, I've been always very happy with the EcoFlow. And in fact, I have two batteries now, not even one, and none of them ever failed me like this. So I'm, I still believe that the temperature, the batteries being so cold is actually a big factor contributing to the issue. But regardless, uh, my day goes on, my back is killing me, so finally I sat down a little bit. My MRI appointment is next Monday, so I have to uh, basically suck it up and wait for my MRI because I need my therapy to start. But anyways, um, I'm going to have my soup and then the chicken with, with the rice. I thank you that you've been here today enjoying this miserable experience. <laughs> it's really weird to ask if you've enjoyed my misery today. Please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. All right, see you guys.